I'm Pat Bates, and this is Living on LOP. LOP is loss of privileges for a misconduct inside of a prison. The lessons former prisoners learned during isolation can be applied today, as well as move forward in our lives. This episode features the great Joseph Johnson, and he's going to tell us how to cope with disappointment. What's up, Joe? I enjoy being up here, too. Up here, it's like, it's like my little tree house, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I see. That's exactly why you say that. Yeah, look at my little tree out of the way. All them trees out there. Yeah. I enjoy being up here. My name is Joe Johnson. I spent 38 years with the Michigan Department of Corrections, and I'm here today to talk to you about coping with disappointment. So I'm a, I was I'm a lifer, and so a lifer has to go through a, a particular process before you know he's released. One of the processes that a lifer go through uh, is what they call uh, 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 a public hearing. And you go, you see the parole board, um, they decide if they want to move toward, uh, uh, you know, um, a public hearing. You get your public hearing, after that you come home, right? Okay, so in my situation, right after I had seen the parole board, two days before my public hearing, I caught a misconduct. The misconduct was for threatening behavior on an officer. And, um, and so when I caught that misconduct and, you know, I had at that moment, I knew that I had blew my opportunity to go home, right? When I finally got the decision from the parole board, they gave me a five-year Passover. So what that means is that I wouldn't get no more action in, from the parole board until five years later. And so, you know, I had some decisions to make, some choices to make at that moment. I was hurt. I was disappointed. I was mad, you know, felt the need to, to, to lash out because I had put everything into that. Me, this is my moment. This is, I'm about to go home. Something that I had been wanting, wanting for long, for many years. I had to realize that, okay, I got to keep pushing, man. I got to keep pushing. But how am I going to push? Am I going to push in a positive manner or am I going to push in a negative manner? For me, it's about continuing to go forward, not backwards. You know what I'm saying? And so that's when I had to like say, okay, this is what it is. You can't change it. You understand? You done cry. You done, you know, you done, you know, express your disappointment. You done express your anger because the situation couldn't have happened. But the fact is, ain't nobody trying to hear you. It is. It's done. Now, wh what am I going to do? Am I going to make my situation worse? Or am I going to continue to make myself, my situation as positive as I possibly can? And so this is, you know, the time when I began to say, okay, no more feeling sorry for myself because, you know, woe on me because I didn't do what he said I did and, you know what I'm saying, he shouldn't have did this and that. Okay, all that didn't happen. The fact is I was found guilty of the ticket, the parole board seen it, and they said based upon that, this is their decision. They gave me a five-year flop. But as, as I got to thinking about it, I got to thinking about the things that had got me to that point, the behavior, the attitude, the adjustment that I had to make to even get me to that point of having the opportunity to have a public hearing. And so when I think about it, when I was thinking about it, I said to myself, okay, I can act crazy and I can be here. I can accept it and continue to do the things that I did to get myself in that position in the first place and look better in doing so down the line, or I can make that decision. So I had something I had to wait. And the way, that I, you know, the way that I had dealt with that disappointment is I had to find things, you know, I had to find a resolve within myself to ask myself, what did I want more for myself? Did I want to spend the rest of my life in prison or did I really want to be a member of society? Am I going to lock myself in or I'm going to make my, continue my path on the road that I, I'm in so that when the opportunity come again down the road, I'm good. And so that's what I did. Here in society, we all face with uh, situations that we don't like, that we say unfair. Okay, ah, you know what I'm saying? It's unfair, you know. But how are you gonna deal? How are you gonna deal with it? One of the things that one of the things that I've always used, you know, um, for me to help me to accept things that you know I can't change is just that understanding that some things happen in my life or some things happen to you on a day-to-day -day basis that you just can't change. It is what it is. If I say I'm sorry, it's not gonna get me 
uh, a hearing tomorrow, point blank. I gotta do this five more years, you know? And so I can be mad, I can be upset, but it's all about putting that anger and that acceptance in a proper perspective. And so how I did that was just accept the fact that this, was, this is what it is. Nothing's gonna change. Only thing's gonna change about this situation going forth are the decisions that I make. And so my thing was, you know, in, in, in my, my thing was in dealing with this situation is just remaining positive. Saying to myself that at, that at every turn that I make, I'm gonna be better in myself, even from this disappointing situation. The situation is what it is. You got one or two things you can do. You can accept it or you cannot, you, you don't. That's your decision to make. You know, if you're in the mode to accept it and understand that there's nothing that you can do about it. This is something that you did not create for yourself. This is something that was created outside of you. So, in order to understand that, you just accept it. You say, okay, there's nothing I can do to change it. You know, so what I have to do is find a way that I can deal with my situation as it is and find those things that bring me contentment and happiness to my life in this moment. And that's all you can do. I appreciate everything you've done for us, man. Thank you, man. Thank you for all your strong words. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. You know, uh, you know anytime, man. For sure. You know, I see you.